Today we'll play a tactical action game uh, that is available for Quest 3, PC VR and PlayStation VR 2. I will show you the PC VR version. So we, it's a manga style action game. We play humans versus machines in the Japan of the future. And we also have transformable weapons and so on. And I will show you some cool action scenes. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the VR. Thank you to my sponsors, Woodgos VR, Opperman Events, Virtual Escape Area 1 and Virtual Reality Center Basel. I would like to thank again the MetaQuest Creator Program for having such cool people, such a cool team, and it's really, really motivating to work with them. It's, thank you so much for that. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay guys, welcome to the game. So we are already in a battle and when I press the grip button here, I have this huge sword that's made from the death, from a dead body, from the bones of a dead body. Godlike beings as a result of learning what humans potentially fear. However, the changes we can see taking place with the Holy Mother are a little different. We have a shield here on the left trigger button, and on the right we can spawn this weapon. And when we hold it with two hands, we have this huge weapon, and we can hold our right a left hand to collect this energy, and then we can um, load or charge our arm and then we can unleash the full power. Bam! Hi, hi, hi! Look here. Oh, there's another one. So the enemies looked really creepy. Look at this. They, they have their head hanging. Bam, bam, bam. They may be beginning to understand the mechanisms of emotion from their learning. So now our glove is loaded and let's see. Bam! Pah! It causes a lot of damage. Now he's already dead. No response from enemy next. That's cool, right? These huge swords. Uh. Turn the security handle to open the door. Yeah, let's open the door. So the the fights feel pretty good security with the huge swords. I love it. Massive monad response ahead confirmed. It must be the mech in question. So we have to fight a boss by our mech. She never called me by my name. I think I know why. Getting friendly is dangerous when you know you're going to die. Yeah, come on, come on. Here we go. I need to throw away my human feelings, <laughs> just like the captain said. Oh shit. This is the boss. Uh oh, we can dash to the side with the A button. Okay, will you help me? Hey ya! Collect the stuff, collect everything, because we need it. To meet you again. It's really, it's really Juliet's voice. Can use the huge weapon as well, perhaps. Bam! Still here. here we go. I can tell they're not adult. Bam! Die! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I spent my whole life fighting. Come on! The captain would never say anything like that. Uh, uh, this is insane. Look how huge this enemy is. This world had no hopes or dreams. Collect at the same time yeah, while fighting. About our memories. Uh oh. Ah, uh, good that we stand here. I had you. Dash. Die, 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 die. Do 
not be fooled by the enemy. That is not Holy shit. Now now we talk. Pick up my bone. Oh. If I die. Oh shit. Ugh. You were my family. I feel like a Bam. Will you die? He will not die. That is my only joy. Oh, we we activated the the burst. Oh, just stop it already. Oh, I have to to cover because I think we. Massive monad response confirmed. Oh my god! What's that? Weak points. Yeah, I know that already. But uh, I cannot reach it. Head down. Put your head down. Now. No. Shit. Come on. Down. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh. oh shit. Collect the stuff. Oh man, they, she's dying. I have to. Oh, they already revived her. We can revive people with the left trigger button, or the right trigger button. He, here we go. See that? Oh shit! Shit! Ha! Oh, now we, now we are here. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, come on! Yeah! Die! Whoa! No enemy mech response. Remain on alert. The enemy's this, these are memories that I can collect. It needs to be completely destroyed. Whoa! Insane! That's creepy. What? Ah, ah. So now we're go going back to the base. Hopefully. Enemy mech reboot sequence detected. Please hurry. Why the hesitation? Reboot? Please. Oh no! Believe me. Don't be fooled by their voices. I, I am right here. Can't you see? That is not Captain Julia. Oh hi. Want is die. To be all I want. Say, I. Uh oh. No. Ah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Crazy. Detected. Blood pressure rapidly dropping. Uh oh. By all estimations, you cannot survive. Please prioritize protecting your reen device. By all estimations, you cannot survive. Please prioritize. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Uh, we have been eaten. <laughs> Completion time. So we get uh, so called monad points. And then we can spend to upgrade our uh, weapons. You will see. So this is the base. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we have the lock here. That's a little bit of story and so on, but uh, we can skip that. They will tell us a little bit more about everything. This is a lock, yeah. I heard the crunch of my skull as it got crushed. Now we get a little bit of story, but I will skip that right now. And yeah, here we go. Always remember. The tears you shed. Yeah. The harsh experiences ahead will rid you of any thought of crying. You may even forget how to cry. That death was not the end. There are as many stories as lives lost. So this is just the beginning. That's the circle of war. Okay. So, uh, but uh, we can... Also go back here, here, 
and then yeah, we have archives. Then we can uh, see whatever we already discovered from the story and so on. We can go back. And uh, here we have the uh, memory transfer. Um, here we can upgrade the weapon. Look at this. This is our weapon. Uh, now we can say, okay, let's upgrade that to level 4. Here we go. Upgrade complete. More damage. Yeah. And co can go back here. Yeah, and then we could, of course, go to the to the next level. Uh, re in program. Here we go. That's uh, already a lock. And but we will also skip that for now. The the weapons and fighting and the controls of everything feels pretty good. Guys, Please what the heck? The yeah, we, now we have a new function here. Come on. Cyberbrain Limbo analyzes the memories of death. Oh yeah, we can uh, upgrade our avatars as well. It is believed that transferring these memories to the next clone will improve its abilities. Similar to the scapegoats, you can offer your next clone monad points. Nice. Uh, life level. Upgrade. Ha! Zhut. Nice. Upgrade complete. Sounds good, right? Ha ha. We have here, go back. So as you can see, we can do a lot of stuff here. Uh, let's check out how the next level looks. I mean, uh, that's very interesting to see. Uh, uh, so in the first part of the game, I was in an arena and now it looked a little bit different. Oh, this is also an arena again. So yeah, we are always in the pretty small levels. No prognostic symptoms of memory transfer. No. The re-in project is moving forward as planned. Please launch, Ragel. And now we can hit My this button here. condolences. The you before you was a noble sacrifice. Of course, the next you is ready to go. So please, take your life without any worries. A wall of bodies prevents the enemy's invasion. We are in desperate need of this shield of life. Destroy all enemy mechs. Yeah, this is what we mostly Connect have to do. Mechanism sitting in yeah. front of you quite literally with your life. This system, named the Fallen Angel Shroud, hides the location of Tokyo Arc. If we lose the Lucifer mechanism, we'll face a massive enemy attack. Oh. Let me be clear. This is exceedingly more important so we have to defend this life. Uh huh. Yeah, okay, we have to protect this one. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, and now there, were, there are enemies incoming, I'm pretty sure. So... Phew. Yeah, I've seen that, and now... Okay, there's enemies. Oh, new enemies and so on. Yeah, guys, so this is what the game is about. Fighting, a lot of action, defending, and so on. Yeah. Die. Yeah, so I think that's enough for now. So let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Yeah, Soul Covenant, guys. So the game feels pretty good, I must be honest. Huh? It's made for VR, all the menus and so on, it feels really good. The fights feel good and so on. The, the, uh, the Mechian um, enemies look pretty nice, They're really good. And uh, But the thing is, we are only in small arenas. Yeah, There's 
it's very linear. What I love is that you can uh, upgrade the weapon and your avatar and so on. The boss fights are also pretty cool, but yeah, there's not so much difference between all the arenas and the fights and so on. Yeah? Sometimes you have to kill all waves of enemies. Sometimes you have to kill waves of enemies and protect something, uh, fight the boss and so on. I mean, all in all, it's a good game, but it's not more than other games. Yeah, It's still, a, it's, I would say it's a casual action game still. And develop, the developers told me about the price and it's uh, on Quest 2 and Quest 3, it's $40. And on PC VR and PlayStation VR 2, even $50. And in my opinion, this is too much for such a game. Yeah, it's just my opinion. Uh, it's not more than other action games. Yeah, I don't know why it's so expensive. Um, but if you are interested in that, I will put the links in the description below. And yeah, then you're good to go. So guys, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo